Hi, I'm Una. Um, this is my shed. Uh, this is my YouTube channel. Um, in this session, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about mm, creative writing. I'm going to call it. Uh, it's got more. It's more to do with drawing, really. Um, and mm, yeah, but I'm going to call it creative writing because that's what other people call it. I I think it's just artistic process. I think the you can apply the same sort of process to any kind of artistic activity and I really hope that you find this helpful. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how, because mostly what I think the people who are watching this are going to be interested in is how to make some kind of a graphic novel or a zine. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to fold a piece of paper so that it will um, work as a zine. This is really useful information because it's also how books are made. The way books are stitched together is in multiples of 16. So if I show you how to make a 16 page zine, then it gives you a really good idea of, of how to organize an even longer book than 16 pages. But most people, if they're beginners, uh, 16, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's, it's really good discipline to try to fit your story into actually eight pages. You know, um, really, you should be thinking about eight to start off with. Um, it's very unlikely, unless you're quite far down the line with your project, that you've got enough sort of uh, quality and depth uh, to fill much more space than that. But hopefully what will happen as you start to work on your project is that your um, content and your, um, your process and your story will develop so that it will fill 200 pages, you know, but the journey of a thousand miles and all of that. So I'm gonna try and do this to camera, which is not actually easy, is it? Okay, so this is actually a, um, an A3 piece of, not A3, yeah, A3, <laughs> an A3 piece of printer paper, but you can do the same thing with a normal A4 um, piece of printer paper. Obviously that would be quite a small zine, um, but as long as you do your planning right, um, it'll be fine. You know, we, we can draw small. That's okay. At this stage, all we're interested in anyway is um, telling a good story. You know, we, it doesn't have to be a great work of art at all. Um, all you need is bits of paper, pencils, even ballpoint pens will do. You know, by a, an odd biro that you've got lying down the back of a sofa is fine. You don't need fancy materials to make art ever. Okay. So um, I've got this piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half like this, yeah, excuse me. It's important to try and do it fairly accurately because at the point where you try to cut the pages, if you haven't lined up your edges beautifully, it will be very difficult to cut. So I'm just going to lay it down at the side while I fold it. I had to do this one time in front of a, an entire class of Brazilian school children. That was really good fun. Now, so, so now it looks like this. And it's got one fold down the middle. Yeah. And now I'm going to fold it the other way long ways yeah so I'm going to lay it down at the side here and match up my corners really beautifully so that it's nice and straight uh, the more you handle paper the more you'll get used to handling it I think uh, when I first started I used to make artists books a long time ago you know when I was a proper artist um, and I found that all paper behaves differently and it has a grain, you know, all sorts of things like that. And it's a little bit like handling fabric, you know, you become more proficient at it. So, so now your um, piece of paper has a sort of cross folded in it. Yeah, can you see that? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge and we're going to fold it down to this center point. So we're going to fold it inwards and again we're going to match up the edges really carefully just 
so that when we come to cut it, it's not going to go horribly wrong. Like this. So now it looks like that. And already you can see that it's starting to look like a book. So we turn it around the other way. We're going to do the same with this side. And we'll end up with eight uh, panels. Obviously, they're on both sides. A piece of paper has two sides, and that's how you end up with potentially 16 pages. Um, but you're going to need a, probably a stapler uh, for that. So maybe rein yourself in and do eight for now. So then I'm going to have that. Like this. So now it looks like this. Yeah? One, two, three, four at the top and four at the bottom. I can't seem to get it. Ah, there we go, sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to this. So now it looks like that. Now the cut is gonna come in the middle. It's gonna be he from here to here. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna fold it in half like this. Yeah, so that It's folded across the centre into two A4 or two A5s if you're doing it on a smaller piece of paper. And then you're going to cut from the folded edge, which is this one, to the centre point there. With a pair of scissors or a knife, you're going to cut from there to there along the folded line. I'm going to do it with a knife because um, that's what I've got here at my side. Should get an adult to do that <clears throat> now now you've got a sort of hole in the middle yeah that you can put your hand through okay <clears throat> now this is the tricky bit it actually is a little bit tricky and don't worry if you don't get it right the first time but can you see that it's um i'm holding it like this long ways and that when i sort of push the the middle opens up and then if I fold it over it will collapse in on itself and turn into a little book like that. I'm going to do it again. I'll sit, try and get a little bit further away from the camera. So we've got it like this. We fold it over like this. And you can see a sort of diamond shape opening up in the middle. And push it down. Can you see all the four points in the middle coming together? And just let it, let it do what it wants to do. Because paper has its own kind of um character it has needs it ends up like this when you're happy that you've got your pages relatively straight yeah can you see then you can push it down and and um sort of iron the creases in a little bit more firmly but don't do that until you're sort of happy that it's as straight as you're going to get it listen you know this is a homemade zine it's never going to be completely perfect and i always find that the bit that makes up the sort of back and front cover um it, it always feels a little bit awkward and, and never quite pulls all the way around you know it's very annoying I'm not sure whether that one wants to come. I think that one wants to come that way. So I'm going to do it like that. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a couple of pieces of paper, one thing I can recommend doing is making yourself a, if you're a beginner at this, making yourself some kind of a template 
so that you don't forget how to do this now i just need to sharpie mm. i think my sharpies are all in a different box i oh, know there's one <clears throat> so i'm going to take this little zine and i'm going to write because this is going to be my template i'm going to write front on the front and I'm going to write back on the back, like that. Now, at the moment, you've just got eight pages, okay? Obviously, if you cut down the edges, you can end up with 16. But let's, let's be... Um, Let's give ourselves a limit for this uh, particular project. If you're feeling particularly ambitious later, then, you know, yeah, go for it. Go for the full 200. So <clears throat> front and then on the inside page, I'm going to write one, two on the next page, three on the next page, four. And I'm making sure that the book is the right way up as I'm writing this. You'll see why in a minute. Five, six. So we've got six inner pages, a front cover and a back cover, making eight pages in total. And when I unwrap it, you'll see that the pages are in a different order. So we've got the front and back cover together here and then next to them one and two and then three four five and six on the other side um the other way up now this is going to be really helpful for you when you draw your zine because you're going to have to draw your zine flat like this so once you've done all your thumbnail once you've done your planning and then you've done your thumbnails and then you want to draw them nicely you're going to have to do the nice drawing on this and you're going to have to make sure that you're drawing on the correct page and you go the, the right way up <laughs> for when you fold it because if you put loads of time in um to drawing and writing and then find that page five is is the wrong way around then you're going to be really annoyed aren't you so okay so remember this um, if you're going to do 16 pages, obviously make all your cuts and make sure you've got a stapler to put the thing back together when you've finished. Write all your page numbers on um, while it's folded and then draw it unfolded. Okay. <clears throat> 